Hello friends, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to recover from non-recoverable load. So what has happened is like an application team has performed non-recoverable load. And once the non-recoverable load has performed, we need to take the backup, but we have not taken the backup post the load. And then the database was restored and now table space is inaccessible and which means the tables are also inaccessible. So how to recover from this kind of scenario? All that we need to do is restore to point before load. So when the, that non-recoverable load was performed, we have to just restore to that point before load. What is non-recoverable load? Is that in this when we can in the when we do the non-recoverable load, when we do the load, we can specify the keyword called non-recoverable. And when that happens, then the load transaction uh, marks the tra transaction as non-recoverable and it is not possible to roll forward that particular transaction. So let's get starting and we will. So what we'll do is like I have one database. So this is okay. As usual, I'm doing this on 11.1. .1. If you can see fix pack four, I'll be doing this on 11.1 .1 fix pack four. And what I what I'll do is like if you see, I have one database called test. So db to list db directory. So you'll see I have a database called test, which okay. And let me clear and let me connect to that particular database and show you if there are any tables. And as you can see, I don't have any tables. So let me create this table called t3 and t4. So I'm going to create these two tables. That's done. So I have created these two tables. If I run the db2 list tables now, I should be able to see that I have created two tables called t3 and t4. I will insert some records into t3 table. So let me insert some records into t3 table. So three records got inserted. I'll do the select count star. And you can see there are three records in t3 table. I'll take a full backup at this point in time. So I'm taking the full backup and I will note the time of my backup. What is the time of my backup into this variable called backup time full. So I will note that time. So backup is completed. And if I do this and if I say cat this variable, sorry, not cat echo this particular. So I should get the backup. So my backup was performed at this particular point in time. And you can see that I got this time. So this is my backup. So this is the full backup. So now what I'll do is I will connect to the database and I will insert some more records into T3 and I will insert some more records into T4 and I'll keep a count of it. So right now here we had three records. And now what I'll do is like I will connect again to the database and insert some records into T3 as well as in T4 and we will keep a count of how much records are there. So Let's do this. So previously there were three records. So now we should see that we have six records. So we have six records here. And then here I had none. So if I do this, you can see, sorry, this should be T4. If I do this, I should see that there are no records in T4 table zero. I'll insert some records again, three records. And then if I do the count star, I should see that I have three records and then I'll try to take a incremental backup. So this time I'm taking online incremental. So this was a full backup. Now I'm taking online incremental backup and I'll keep a note of that into this particular variable. So let me run this. So once that is done, I should have my incremental backup. So LS minus LRT, you can see the first backup is of this size and the second backup is of this size. And if I do this, if I show the variable echo this, this variable will show incremental backup that is this 46 and you can see it is incremental 46. Now what I'll do is I will now do a non-recoverable load. So I'm going to do the non-recoverable load. Let me clear the screen, maximize it and then I'm going to. And if you see here, I did a non-recoverable load. Okay. And I checked whether any of my table spaces are uh, all the table spaces look good. So that's fine. And then I have now what I have done is like I have done one more recover load one more time, but this time without keyword this one and that also got successful. And now if I see grab state, you can see that my table space is in. So if I say db2 tbst 
this, you can see it is backup pending. I'll not take the backup now. Now I'll not take the backup. What I'll do now is I'll restore this particular database to end of logs. So what I'll do is, okay. So now if I, if I can still access my both the tables, so that's fine. Okay. So that should be fine. So I'll access both the tables. We are good. So we have six records and we should, we have close to nine records into T4. So uh, what I'll try to do now is I'll try to do a non, I'll try to do a restore. Okay. Without taking a backup right now, my table space is in backup pending and I'll try to restore that this particular database. So what I'll do, I'm going to terminate the applications and I'm going to restore First, I'm going to take the restore the incremental backup, then the full backup, and then the incremental backup. So that's what I'm going to do. And before doing that, let me see if I, there are any logs which should not be. But anyway, so I'll try to do this. I'll try every okay. So I'll I'll try up to this roll forward. Okay. So let me clear the screen. First, I'm going to do the okay. I'm doing the restore incremental. Uh, first. And then I'm taking the full, this is the full backup. So that's done, restore completed successfully. Then I'm again applying the incremental. Okay, so that's done. And then I'm trying to do the roll forward to end of logs. And you can see database test is recovered, but one or more table spaces are offline on members. So what I'll do now, so looks like my restore is successful, database is restored, but one of one of the table space, I'll see what happened to that particular table space. So now I'll kind of activate the database. The database got activated. That's fine. Good. Then I'll try to select from my T4. Okay. I'll try to select from T4. Oh, I did not connect. So let me connect to the database. So db2 connect to test. And then I will say select our table space access not allowed. So let me see what is the state of my table space. And you can see it has got 0, 1, 0. So let's see what it is. db2 tb st. And it says restore pending because it actually we, we did not have the backup. So it, it went into restore pending. So now how to recover this particular error. So what we need to do is the answer is pretty simple. And what we are going to do here is we are going to actually restore this particular database to end of backup instead of end of logs. Okay. We are going to restore it to end of backups. And before doing that, I'm going to drop this particular database. Okay. So let me do this. Okay, and what I'll do, I'll not waste your time. I'll run all of these commands one at a time. So, okay, so let's do this. Let's deactivate, drop the database, remove the log, restore from incremental backup, restore from full backup. So, okay, and then again, next incremental backup. Then finally roll forward to end of backup, not end of logs. To end of backup and stop overflow log path and my roll forward looks good and now i'll try to activate my database and connect to my database okay so let me activate my database connect to it see, see the count star so let me clear this looks good we have everything looks good so now let me activate the database so we were able to select from T4. We have now six, seven, eight, and we have all table spaces. So we just restored our database. So it was, if you see it, it failed previously. We were not able to access this particular table and now we are able to access. And only thing that we did is this end of backup. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.